Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to try to film an instructional video on how to replace the drop-down skeg on the Native Watercraft Slayer 12XC. I've never done it before, so this should be an adventure to say the least. Anyway, let's get to it. So here I have, it's the Skeg Kit 2016 Universal Replacement Kit, and it fits the Remex XP and the Stinger XP. Actually, it also fits the Coupe, the Deuce, and the Versa. Those kayaks are Liquid Logic kayaks, and if you're not aware, if you didn't know, Liquid Logic kayaks merged with Native Watercraft in 2007. But uh, yeah, so what's what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to replace it. Uh, I, I broke mine off on accident on the James River. I think I broke it off on Balcony Falls. I forgot it was down and it got jammed up in some rapids and it broke off. Well, it didn't break off, but the cable broke. But I ordered the new kit. I've got a new cable, a new spring, all new hardware, and of course the new skeg right here. Hopefully this will give any of you Slayer XC owners out there an idea as to how to go about doing this. So let's uh, let's let's get to it. So what I want to do real quick is uh, go ahead and just take a just recap what tools you're going to need in order to accomplish fixing your uh, drop down skeg. We ended up needing some vice grips, a two millimeter Allen key. You're going to need a three eighths wrench. You can also use a ratcheting three eighths wrench. Either way, Phillips head screwdriver, needle nose pliers and just a pair of regular pliers with some nips so that you can cut cable if you need to. It would probably help if you had some sort of crimping pliers to crimp the cable ends or the cable stops. And keep in mind that the cable that comes with the kit, with the Universal Skeg kit, does not work for the native Slayer at 12XC. If your cable's not too terribly damaged, you're gonna wanna reuse your old cable. Probably the best bet would just be to contact Native Watercraft or Liquid Logics um, customer service to try to get you the, just the individual cable for the Slayer 12XC. Uh, what else did we need? We needed those end stops. They're 1 16th size, like I said before, uh, in order to install onto the cable itself. So let's go ahead and just open the package real quick. Looks like we've got our cable, which runs half the length of the kayak. You've got your actual skeg, you've got your hardware, and that looks to be about it. I'm going to go ahead and flip the kayak over real quick so that we can get to our skeg handle because that's where all of our hardware is found. Here's the skeg handle. We're gonna go ahead and remove this side plate right here to get to the guts. This is the side plate for the skeg, the skeg drop down handle. We're gonna go ahead and remove these four bolts holding it on, or four screws, I'm sorry. So there's a little bit better view. There's the chicken wing little bracket that I was talking about. Um, you've got your hardware, you've got your nut, your little pin, and your cable. There's a little barrel right there. That barrel holds the, the cable in place. And that little indention right there is the Allen key. That's what we're removing. That's what holds the cable, and that's what allows you to adjust the cable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up enough to, for the cable to slide out. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this big nut that holds the whole system onto the actual skeg handle. It's going to be a lot easier because my hands, I cannot get to those little 3 8 that little 3 8 nut and screw. So I'm just going to remove this whole uh, chicken wing assembly and take it off and bring it out of this hole so I can get the cable off that way. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so that's going to go ahead and bring our, we're going to need a 9 16 to remove that. Okay, so we're just going to take that off. We're good. So let's go ahead and bring that out. So that's what we've done. We went ahead and removed that big nut off of the handle. It's a lock nut, nylon lock nut. Set that to the side. Now we can bring this out and we can take it out that way. That should be hand tight now. Take that off, save that for later. I'm gonna reuse the, this, this hardware, you know, the bolts and nuts and things. It all looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna take this barrel off. And since I'm replacing the cable, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this end off, okay? And just go ahead and pull this barrel off off of the end and pull the cable out. The way that my old skeg broke off, this little crimp came off of my old cable, as you can see. See how it's frayed? This little crimp sits in this little slot right here on the on the uh, skeg. I don't know if you can see that little slot, but it holds that cable in there. It's just a little barrel. And when we thread that in there, you'll see more of what I'm talking about. But that broke off on mine. But what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just gonna pick up all of my hardware, get my tools picked up, because I'm gonna flip my kayak over. That way I can reach, I can access the skeg compartment so I can route my cable. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my kayak over, stay tuned. 
Got her flipped over so now we can go ahead and try to run that cable through the slot for the uh, skeg. So I'm sure you can probably see that. This is the slot for the skeg. There's a little bracket that it uh, connects to, that's the skeg itself connects to, and then there's a little hole there and it's got that, that plastic tubing that runs through the side of your kayak. We're gonna go ahead and try to route that cable through, but first you've gotta route the cable through the skeg itself, through that little barrel. So we'll do that first. So now that we know that the cable that comes in the kit is too short, we're going to use our old cable, and luckily I didn't cut too much off. I had plenty of slack. I'm going to go ahead and install this cable stop all the way to the end where it's going to meet up with my skeg. I'm going to leave a little bit of cable there at the end. I'm going to try to try my best to crimp this down. I don't have proper crimps, so just bear with me. This is all I've got. I think it's going to work, though. And that's it right there. Nope, we didn't get it. We're gonna keep at it. We'll keep trying. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, so we got we got the cable stop crimped on there. Get the spring on here, thread it through the cable, of course. Now we're gonna go ahead and feed it on through. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get this wire fed in here, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we've got the cable run through, the cable slot in the kayak, we've got our spring installed, we've got our skeg installed. The cable has gone through to where the handle is at. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this kayak over. We've got the cable run through, so we're gonna go ahead and go get our other hardware. We're gonna go get our clamp, our cable stop, and our bolt and nut, and get this all installed and adjusted. Okay, so I've gone ahead and reinstalled the little barrel that keeps the cable from sliding, you know, back, th you know, through. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that first before you install it on any kind of hardware or whatever. And then what you can go ahead and do is the new kit comes with one of these new little cable stop. We can go ahead and install that next. Anyway, you get the gist of it. We're gonna put this on, we're gonna crimp it down, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got our little cable in crimp, crimped on. We're gonna put our screw through that, you know, that cable barrel, whatever you wanna call it, your adjustment barrel. And we're gonna go ahead and put this, install this back onto that chicken wing bracket with our 3 8 nut. And again, I'm just reusing the old hardware because the old hardware was still good to go. So when you're tightening this, this 3 8 nut and screw down, you're going to want to make sure that you don't tighten it all the way. Go ahead and tighten it and then back it off a little bit so that this bracket right here can, can kind of swing freely because you're going to want it to be able to swing around for when you're dropping your skeg down. There we go. And that's going to allow that to rotate freely. So there we've got that. So now we're going to go ahead and install the chicken wing bracket onto the handle bolt. So it's a carriage bolt. So we're going to go ahead and install that now. It can only go on one way. Go ahead and install that and tighten this. Uh... And that is adjustable. So if you if you think it's too tight, you can back that off a little bit just to, to your liking. That feels pretty good right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our cable. As you can see, I've still got that barrel nut loose, so we need to go ahead and tighten that up. We're gonna wanna pull the cable to where you've got no gap in the skeg. See how there's a gap there? We're gonna wanna pull it up to probably right about there, and that's where we're gonna adjust our cable at. We've got our handle to where the skeg would be down normally, okay? You're gonna wanna pull your cable, and you can see when I pull it, that's gonna pull the skeg up right there and you're gonna go ahead and tighten down that two millimeter Allen head screw that locks it into place. Sissy, so make sure that the skeg, there's no gap. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that screw down, that lock screw, tight quarters. Give it one more little turn here to make sure that we're completely locked. The last thing I wanna do is have this thing come loose while I'm on the water. Now that we've got that adjusted, we should be able to move our skeg up into the up position. There we go. And, and drop it down and there's no gap as you can see, there's no gap in the what very gap top. What do you mean? The gap, there's no gap in top is what I mean. And that spring, what I was trying to describe before, the spring is there for if you're like, you know, cruising down the creek or river and you forget that it's down or you just, you know, you come up on like a sandbar or a small rock, the back of the skeg will hit it, but it'll spring up and it'll spring back down into the position it was in. So that's what that spring is for. So now we're gonna go ahead and button up the rest of this. And that's just that little plastic cover and four screws. I like to start them off by hand. That's it, we're done. 
so that's about it for the video I know it wasn't 100% straightforward, but that kind of happens when you don't know exactly what you're doing. You just kind of roll with it and figure out what you need to do and do it. So if you like the video, hit that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.